Are you looking to add remote hydraulics to your tractor to run a hydraulic top link, grapple, log splitter, hay rake, or other implement? Look no further. You can install this kit in minutes for a fraction of the price of going to the dealer. Andy Herringshaw here with Tractor Innovations. Today we're going to be installing a remote hydraulic kit onto this customer's BX2380. This installation is going to look a little different than other videos because we'll be replacing this quick attach loader system with quick couplers. This system is absolutely the most affordable and simplest way to get remote hydraulics on your tractor. Today on a Kubota BX series, but I build these for lots of different brands and models, just give me a call or look at the link below to go to my website and check it out. This kit comes with everything you see here. The switching valve with all the hoses attached, quick couplers for the rear of the tractor, a bracket to mount them in, and all the hardware you need to attach it. This customer additionally wants to put on a hydraulic top link, so we'll be installing that today so that he can adjust his box blade on the fly. I also sell these on my website, so just check it out below. I can send you a complete kit um, all at once. I've got my tools with me today. I need a few different size wrenches and ratchets, a drill with 5 16 drill bit, and a little patience to get it installed. So let's get to it. The first thing we need to do for these tractors with the quick attach loader system is actually remove the loader at least far enough so we can get this quick attach arm raised up. There's not room to do that with the loader installed. So we'll do that and then we're actually going to replace the connectors up here with the quick couplers. We don't need to remove the loader completely, just enough so we can get this quick attach arm raised and get this quick coupler out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen that now. An important thing before you release that is to move your loader control to all four positions and make sure there's no hydraulic pressure left in the system. With that, we pull the red lock. lift it up and it's out. So this kit is actually going to replace this entire top manifold by attaching these JIC connectors to the individual couplers. Once we've got the manifold loose, the first thing we're going to do is replace each of these parts with the individual couplers. He's chosen to put it on the lift circuit which is white and yellow. So the dump circuit is going to get these individual couplers, red and blue. Take an 11 16 wrench and a 13 16 I don't have mine handy, so an adjustable will do. Take your colored disc from that coupler to this coupler and attach it just like that. Definitely use a backer wrench and tighten that fitting snugly. And repeat that for the red coupler. All right. The dump circuit is completed. Those will clip right back to the tractor without any further work. The lift circuit is going to be our input into the switching valve. The switching valve comes with quick couplers so that you can still completely disconnect this system. The part that will attach the tractor is already made up. So we'll plug those in as we mount the valve. But to replace the manifold part, take a look here. We've got our yellow piece. So we'll disconnect this quick coupler and we'll attach that to our yellow. If you 
happen to get this wrong, you forget something, you get something misplaced, do not worry. There is nothing you can do at this point to damage your tractor. It just will act a little funny. If you've got these backwards, your loader would just go up when you push down and you can go in and reverse these hoses later. But there is nothing you can do to damage your tractor here. Just don't, don't over tighten the fittings. Just hand tight. We are not cranking with our whole arms here. Okay, so we've got yellow. And when we have this all installed, yellow goes to yellow, easy as pie. That's our output to the loader from the switching valve. Repeat that for the white fitting. The quick coupler here is attached to the white, release, and we've got the JIC fitting ready to go on. Now your manifold is completely loose. There's nothing we need to do with this. You can uh, go sell it on eBay or whatever you feel like doing. Oh, did anybody else catch it? I forgot to take my white over to the coupler. I'll do that now. All right, we've got all the couplers attached where the manifold used to be. Now we're ready to mount the valve. With the couplers finished, we're now ready to attach the switching valve to the tractor. And we're going to go ahead and put the knob on so we're really comfortable with where that's going to go. So thread it onto the valve. And then I'm going to flip this over. To get this nice and tight, I'm going to grab this piston with some vice grips. But I want you to be really careful. We do not want to grab in this part right here. That has to slide into the valve. So you can grab with pliers or vice grips outside that circlet. Grab it nice and tight. You can tighten that knob right up. To mount the switching valve to the tractor, you can really pick any place you want, uh, just according to your creativity. For this BX, we're going to mount it right here so it's a really handy spot for him to push and pull the valve and I've checked clearance to make sure the hood still opens and he can still get this maintenance panel out. So to mount this valve we just need to make two holes. I've got a punch here to make a to make a mark and of course before drilling we're gonna put our finger back behind this panel and make sure we're not drilling into electronics, fuel tank, anything like that and we need access back there to get the nuts on. So we're just gonna be really careful as we drill that. Those are the first holes we've drilled in a, your new tractor. In order to mount the switching valve, we're gonna go ahead and get all the hoses in place. So these rear couplers on the long hoses are going to tuck right through here, right next to the quick attach. Slide them under the tractor. Those are going to go under the floorboard and up inside the axle. All right, to mount the switching valve to the dash, I've got my bolts, washers, and nuts out of the hardware kit. And to match the curvature of this panel of the dash, I'm going to slip my bolts through and I'm going to add a washer to the back. Slide that through. Again, a washer behind to match the curvature of that dash. And we're through. So right there, we'll be able to move the knob in and out pretty handily. And so on the back, I'm ready to put a washer, a lock washer, and a nut.
We tighten that up with a half inch wrench and this will be fully mounted. With the valve mounted, I'm ready to, con to connect all the quick couplers. So we're just gonna match colors. I've got my yellow here. And with these flat face couplers, you just push them on. That's connected, white, match it up to the color that's on the tractor. And now the loader connectors go directly, blue and red, directly to the tractor. Okay, and now the two additional connections, the output from the switching valve comes to these Kubota style connectors. And we've got Kubota style connectors mounted to the loader. So match them up by color, yellow to yellow, white to white. And then we'll just get these comfortably tucked here out of the way. The kit comes with zip ties so we can zip tie this all together so nothing's rubbing on paint, but it really tucks in there nicely. Okay, with everything connected, now we're ready to put the loader back into place. All right, I've got the hoses run underneath the floorboard. I'm gonna get them right tucked in so they're not anywhere near the wheel and they'll come out right up by the three point hitch so we can find a spot to mount these couplers. This customer has chosen to mount the bracket off of this bolt right here. So that means these couplers are gonna sit right here. Very convenient to plug in our hydraulic top link that we've already installed on the tractor. That's a great spot. The next step is to install our double breakaway clamp. This is gonna grip the outside sleeve of these couplers, allowing us to push and pull to connect the quick couplers. So open up this bag. And it's got instructions inside, or you can follow along to the video. We've got this attachment bar the one hole is going to attach to the tractor, the two holes to these W brackets. I'm gonna go ahead and get out all the bolts and I'm going to assemble these W brackets loosely so that I can slide the couplers in and clamp it in the middle to the bar. A 9 inch ratchet pulls that loose. Take your W brackets, put them together like that, and we're going to put in the outermost bolts just very loosely. You're going to take the smallest bolts that come with that hardware kit to the outside there along with a lock washer on each one. And a nut. A 7 16 inch wrench adjusts these. But we're gonna leave them really loose like that for right now. Leave them really loose. With that, we can open them up and slide these quick couplers in. Okay, as I put in the quick couplers, I want this outer sleeve sticking out about a quarter inch on each side. If you put it hanging out here, it's not gonna grip it right and you're not gonna be able to push and pull to connect. So get it all the way on that coupler. So you've got some sticking out the front and the back. Do that for both couplers. All right, so you should see that W clamp fit in the grooves of those couplers. Now we're ready to just finger tighten the outsides of these clamps. 
Okay, we'll tighten all that up once it's totally installed. And now we can slide this onto the mounting bar. Line up those holes and we'll take our bolts to mount it right there. Again, a locking washer and a nut go on the back. A one half inch wrench will tighten up that, that bracket. Take a look here, make sure your hose are routed, hoses are routed out of the way of any Thing that could damage them that looks really good running up next to the three point and we'll check to make sure that couplers can go in and out without any trouble the back here has to be able to move just a little bit for these couplers to move that looks good that's tight and release that's a good looking install we'll tighten those with a wrench to finish it up We've finished the installation of the remote hydraulic kit and we've connected the hydraulic top link. So now let me show you how this kit works. When I've got the knob in on the switching valve, the loader works completely as usual. I've got the dump function and the raise and lower function. When I pull this knob out, I trade one of my loader functions for the remote. So I've still got the dump function and if I push forward and back like I were lifting the loader, it's going to control the hydraulic top link. In this case, it doesn't move because this hydraulic top link has a drift control. It's only going to move when it's got pressure. So let me fire up the tractor and show you what I mean. With the knob in, my loader works completely as usual. When I want to do some box blading and adjust that hydraulic top link, I'll set the loader up out of the way, pull the knob, and now forward and back, controls the box blade attached to the hydraulic top link and I've still got the dump function. So there you have it, the most affordable and simplest way to get hydraulic remotes on your tractor. This is a Kubota BX series. The, for the B series with the quick attach loaders it will be exactly the same installation but I also build this kit for L series, MX and M series tractors, also LX series. Um, and many other brands of tractors. Check out my website in the link below or give me a call to see what I can do for you. Thanks for watching.